Hey, what's up? So since it's kind of the middle of the year now, it's about time we do a New Year's resolutions update video. I always used to get frustrated when I saw people making New Year's resolutions and never reporting back on how those resolutions are going. And obviously, lots of people don't care about them or they're safe or fun or people don't feel the need to make them. But since my year revolves around an academic calendar year, I always make them and I always set myself some goals for the year. And so these are the, <laughs> this is an update video on how my New Year's resolutions are going. I made a video about it at the beginning of the year that you can watch here and I'll be referring to it the whole way through but straight up let's get into it. How is my sleep going? <laughs> so one of my news resolutions is definitely to at least try to sleep six hours every night. So I, the first resolution I made was that I need to sleep more. I need to sleep at least six hours a night. Um, and with coronavirus and the very different year that I've experienced at home now, studying at home, I've been getting that. I've been getting six hours every night consistently, most nights actually towards seven hours, going to bed between 11 and 12 and waking up at six every morning. That early start has allowed me to get a lot of work and productivity done in the morning um, while still being able to get like a decent amount of sleep at night, more sleep than I was getting at varsity. And that's something that I've learned from this period at home and that, that I definitely need to take back to varsity with me. Go to bed a bit earlier, you know, there's no use staying up till 12, 1 if I'm not being productive. Rather go to bed and wake up at 4 even the next morning, 4, 5, 6, um, and do work in the morning and that, because that's when I'm uh, most productive and that's when I can get shit done. And so, yeah, I have actually been getting that 6 hours of sleep every night. So first resolution, crushed it. Next up is to be kinder to myself and give myself a bit more slack in terms of not being a beast in the gym every day and sometimes missing workouts and not being a productivity machine all the time and being okay with not being um, this super productive, amazing person that I'd like to be in my head all the time and to give myself a bit of leeway and a bit of kindness sometimes to just be, you know, to make mistakes and to be human. And that's been particularly difficult and in some ways made easier by the lockdown and by the pandemic and that because I've been able to go to gym for many months so that side of me has taken quite a beating and I've had to become comfortable with just doing home workouts and, you know, that side of myself that I define by my, my gym workouts and by my fitness and by my uh, physical appearance and that has had to take a bit of a back seat at the moment actually, to be very honest. Um, and it's led me to some personal introspection about, you know, what I value myself on, can't just be appearance and strength and that, even though it's so nice to have those things, um, you've got to give yourself some slack in that. And then with regards to being a productivity machine and that, being at home and doing this completely different lifestyle of uh, university where I can go outside and eat lunch with my family at midday, like, that's really uh, changed some things up as to what I value about my day and what I value about my productivity and that. And I think I've been reasonably productive at home, in some areas more productive even than at varsity. Um, and so yeah, I think I've, I've semi-achieved this resolution in that I've, I've, I've had to be a bit more patient with myself and give myself a bit of a break in that, as we all have, because these are very unusual times and dealing with a big global, global crisis like this, you have to be kind to yourself and kind to the people around you um, in terms of what you expect from them and what you expect from yourself even. And so, yeah, that resolution semi-crushed it. This next resolution is probably the one that I think I have not crushed uh, as much as I would like to have. Um, and that is to live more in the moment and to stop worrying about the future more and to be more spontaneous with friends and that and with the things I do and just stop focusing so much on the far off future and where my life is going and just live more in the moment and that I think has been made particularly difficult once again by the pandemic and staying at home and not seeing a couple of my friends for like four months now as I'm sure many people are missing people and missing out on experiences and that and you know being happy with the current situation and enjoying the day to day uh, life and that has been made difficult when it's literally been sitting at a desk, not this desk, this is my mom's desk, but sitting at my desk in my room um, just studying and working all day without any of the nice rewards of university like seeing people and seeing friends and going out and just having that spontaneous lifestyle and that, that living with a whole bunch of other young people and seeing them every day entails and so I've battled with that, I've battled with being happy with what I've been doing every day and being uh, content and in the moment with all the things that I'm doing and all the things that I'm pursuing and that. In some ways I've, I've uh, done better with it, like I've made the best of it by being on house party with people and seeing my friends and that as much as possible on video calls and organizing stuff online with them and you know really reaching out to people and trying to make the best of the situation by, in the lockdown by working on a web development course and trying to focus on some of my videos and some other personal things, getting into the fish tank or shrimp tank 
um, you know, trying, I've been trying to make the most of it in that regard, but at the beginning of the year when I made that resolution, I had the idea of spending more time with people and making more memories and that with people, and so that obviously hasn't happened, and so in some ways this resolution has not been crushed at all. And then the next resolution I made for myself was to be kinder to myself and to compare myself to my friends and the people around me less. And in many ways, this resolution has been made easier by the pandemic and staying at home and that and not seeing my friends every day and just focusing on my own work and that. Uh, I've crushed it, I do think, personally. Um, I have not been comparing myself to my friends and people on Instagram and that uh, nearly as much as I used to, just because I haven't seen my friends, I don't think, and so I haven't had as much contact with them. I don't know, I've had contact with a couple of people more than I have had before. Um, but you know that wide social circle where you just see people and you see them out doing stuff and you hear about the things they're accomplishing, a lot of that happens in person and so not having that I have definitely been a bit more focused on myself and a little less focused on what other people are achieving and uh, winning and getting in life um, and in some ways also been a lot more uh, kinder and empathetic towards people because everyone's been struggling with something at the moment this year and that and uh, everyone's lives have been changed in so many different ways and that and a lot of people are missing out on the things that they wanted and the things that they desire and wanted to achieve this year and uh, you know a lot of people haven't got the things that they wanted this year and so having that empathy and that I think it's made me a bit more of a, a generous person in terms of how I um, how I feel for people and that and so yeah it's, it's led me to not judge myself against others so harshly in that because I haven't been seeing them on in person or on Instagram and that only install Instagram once a week um, and so yeah in, in some in most regards I think this resolution I've crushed it just because uh, of the nature of the year and that and not spending as much time with people or as much time exposed to what peop other people are doing and that it's allowed me to focus on myself a bit more and not compare myself to other people and be a bit more kind uh, towards them and a bit more supportive of their own goals and happiness and that because at the moment we're all in this together and everyone just wants to everyone wants to go back to normal which is going to take a few years and that but everyone just wants to go back to the life they were living and trying to strive for. And so, yeah, that resolution crushed it. I made another resolution for myself this year that I wanted to read more. To read more. And I've absolutely destroyed this resolution and this goal. Um, Audible and audiobooks are the secret. I'm telling you, 1.5 speed, you can just get through so much content in so much less time. Um, so I've been listening to a lot of books this year. I listened to all the audio all the Artemis Fowl fiction books at the beginning of the year. I've listened to Why We Sleep, I've listened to Homo Deus, I've listened to The Reality Dysfunction, just finished it this morning actually. I've listened to a couple of other uh, non-fiction books that I really enjoyed, I just can't think of them offhand right now. Um, but yeah, I've read all of these books so far actually this year, um, and so I've been really happy and really proud of that, and I feel my mind has expanded in that um, just from reading it and from thinking about the books and from writing summaries of them and from talking about them to friends and family um, in particular the reality dysfunction has really awakened my desire for space travel and science and technology and that and so it's given me some inspiration to carry on with the engineering studying and that if that's what I can achieve one day or that's what I can help build one day um, so yeah I'm gonna make my next video that I'm gonna make is a book review about some of the books that I've been reading recently um, but yeah Reading in 2020, absolutely been smashing it. Then in terms of changing up the YouTube channel and that and making different videos, definitely accomplished that. Once again, thanks to the pandemic, I, I said in my original video that I wanted to um, change up the channel and try new things. In particular, the idea of throwing everything at the wall and seeing what sticks and, you know, just expand myself and try all sorts of different videos and video ideas and that. And, well, I've done that for sure, hey, being at home the entire year, I've had to be very creative in the kind of content I put on the internet. It's been a lot of boring just me sitting at my desk studying because it's been a particularly difficult semester. Um, but I mean, that's okay. That's what, what the life is at the moment and that's what I want to be documenting. I want to be documenting the truth, not some fantasy. Um, but yeah, definitely smash that resolution, hey. You asked for a different set of videos this year, Mitch, from the fast. You got it, hey. You got it. But it's been good. I've been enjoying uh, thinking about some different stuff and that. And that's given me some thought as to what I'm going to do with the channel when I eventually finish Varsity. Because uh, first and second year I focused the YouTube channel partic particularly just solely on university and what was happening there. And so I'm going to have to branch out when I leave Varsity. And so this has been a good trial period. I also want to mention, lol, that I mentioned in my original video 
um, the oncoming, incoming economic downturn. Because it's the start of the roaring 20s, man. You can't just party. Also got to um, prepare for that economic downturn. Ah, if you know what I'm talking about. And I mean, it's not so much a prediction as just the writing was on the wall even back then and we knew this was going to be a tough year economically for South Africa, which has just been further exacerbated by Corona and that. But yeah, it's actually incredible how much worse it was than I even thought it could be. You know, at the beginning of the year I made a video, all the things wrong with South Africa and that. And the crippling, disgusting, uh, unscientific response to coronavirus that has been the norm for the past couple of months now wasn't you know it wasn't even on that list it wasn't even a consideration and so now having seen what the government and what the country has been through in the past couple of months it is particularly frustrating and frightening but anyway that's not what this video is about which is just quite funny and yeah so those are all my resolutions that i made at the beginning of the year and the progress that i've made on them so far i'll probably make a video in december again talking about them again and talking about how you know the, the year as a whole and the year in conclusion but it's always very interesting to make goals and to um, see how people achieve them in that and i find far more interesting is to see the progress that people make towards them it's july now it's the middle of the year and there's still six months to go with those resolutions i still need to read more i still need to carry on focusing on not comparing myself to others and to my friends and that and being more empathetic towards them i need to carry on trying to sleep as much as possible and i need to carry on um, just living in the moment and being positive and trying to be grateful for all the things that i've got now and all the good things that are happening now because there are good things and i just need to remind myself that in the tough times that we find ourselves but thank you for watching this video i appreciate you let me know if you made any resolutions or goals this year and how they're going and i will see you in the next video cheers eh i've been in the study uh, for this entire video because my sister has taken over my room as a study of her own sorts and you can see here she's busy grafting at her desk but yeah let me go edit this video Whoop. <laughs>